Hi, welcome to this video demonstration on configuring ground control sphere with Avid Control. My name is Alex from Alex Pro Mix. Let's have a look. Before we begin, be sure to download and install the latest version of U Control from the Avid website. For my studio, I have two Avid S1s giving me 16 faders and a dock control. But if you don't have these controllers, you can still use the Avid Control application on an iPad. In Sphere, go to Settings, Controllers, and open New Con Settings. From here, click Enable. Once it makes a connection, click Connect on Application Launch. In New Control Settings, you'll notice the last focused application will show up as Sphere. We want to lock the application to the Monitor and Control Room section of the Avid Control app. So for that, we're going to click on this button. And you'll notice it's locked because the Avid Control application will display the speaker outputs to the right and the Q outputs to the left. However, we need to configure our sources. In Ground Control Sphere, we have eight sources that we've created. These are labeled A through H. So how do we get these sources to display on the Avid Control application? It's actually quite simple. Under Source, you're going to see a grid of tabs, and they're divided by two sections, the header and the button. When you click on the header, it displays the main sources. This information is being fed from Ground Control Sphere. So the first one, I'll choose Apple Music. For the second one, I'll choose Logic Pro X. And the third one, I'll choose Mix. I'll click the header again to hide the sources. And now I can toggle any one of these three input devices, such as Apple Music, which is a 714 configuration, Logic Pro, or Mix, which is a stereo configuration. If you want to add more sources, simply click on the header and choose your source. Or if you don't want any more sources, just click on None. Let's select the first one, which is Apple Music. This is a 714 configuration that allows me to monitor Dolby Atmos mixes from Apple Music to my Dolby Atmos speaker setup. Under Speaker Selects, I can solo any one of the speakers. If I double click on the tab, I can also rename it. Stereo sources will only display two channels, left and right. To the right of the application, I can select my output. So I can choose Main, Alt 1, or Alt 2. And this corresponds to the outputs on the ground control sphere. And on the left, I have access to my Q outputs, which are headphone outputs. Again, I'll click A and choose my Q sources. I can select multiple or one, I can hide it, I can engage my output when it's green, or I can mute my output showing red. I can adjust the volume for my headphones, and I can mute them. Let's go back to the output section, because you have a couple of other options here. You'll notice the talkback mic volume control. This allows you to adjust the volume for your talkback mic and you press the button to talk. Down below, you have the main volume, which corresponds to the big knob at the center of the sphere display. You can press cut, which basically mutes the output. And you can also engage dim, which will turn down the volume of your mix by the set amount. Down below, you have two fold down options, again, which correspond to the application, which allows you to monitor your mix in mono or allows you to monitor the sides information of your mix. And it's that simple. With Avid Control locked to Sphere, I have access to the Sphere monitoring application at my fingertips. And by using the Avid Control application on an iPad, I have access to the monitoring section at my fingertips. For more information on Ground Control Sphere, be sure to visit gingeraudio.com. My name is Alex from Alex Pro Mix. I hope you enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching.